hi everyone this is randy and welcome back to my after effects tutorial channel and in this tutorial we will be creating this Let me begin by creating a new composition and I will name it logo placeholder. Thirty-eight forty by twenty-one sixty, thirty frames per second and twelve second duration, color black, click OK. Then I will open my project assets, go to image, I will drop down this RG logo into the timeline. Then press S on my keyboard for the scale, scale it down to 70%. Enable the title action safe. Highlight this logo layer. Go to effects and preset. Generate fill. I want it white. I will highlight it again. Go to layer. I will auto trace it. I want it luminance and the apply to new layer is checked. Click OK. Disable the visibility of this logo horizontal below. Go to composition. Create a new composition. I will name it reflection. 3840 by 2160, 30 frames per second and 12 seconds duration. Click OK. I will open my project panel and I will drop down this reflection to the timeline. Effects and preset. Go to stylize and motion tile. I want the output width to 500 and the output height 200. Check mirror edges. Drag it down a bit. Now I will go to composition. Create a new composition. I will name it logo reflection. The rate 40 by 2160, 30 frames per second and 12 seconds duration. Click OK. I will drop down this reflection into the timeline and also the logo placeholder. Then I will change the track mat here to alpha mat. I will highlight the reflection. Go to effects and preset. I stylize CC glass. Open the surface. Change this bump map to logo placeholder. Change the softness to 25. The height is negative 45. Then the displacement is 500. Open the light. Change the light height to negative 46. Go to effects and preset. Go to distort and choose this CC blobilize. Open the blobbiness. Change the blob layer to logo placeholder. Change the softness to 0. And the cutaway is 10. Then go to layer. Create new adjustment layer. I will drag this adjustment layer above. Go to effects and preset, color correction, curves. I will change the RGB to red and drag it up like this. Change the red to green, drag it up like this. Change the green to blue and drag it down like this. And also change the blue to RGB and drag it up. I think it looks good to me. Go to composition, create a new composition and I will name it matte. 3840 by 2160, 30 frames per second, 12 seconds duration. Click OK. Go to your project panel and open this footage and drop down this transition into the timeline. Then right click your mouse and go to transform fit to comb. There you go. Then go to composition. Create a new composition and I will name it logo map. Thirty-eight forty by twenty-one sixty, thirty frames per second and twelve seconds duration. Color black. Okay. Drop down this placeholder into the timeline and also the map. Then change the track mat here. Alpha map. There you go. This is what we want. Go to composition. Create new composition. I will name it Logo Edge. 3840 by 2160. Click OK. Go to Project Panel. Drop down this logo placeholder into the timeline and also this map. Go to Layer. Create new adjustment layer. Go to Effects and choose Stylize. Add Fine Edges. Check this inward. Then highlight this logo placeholder. Change the blending mode to Stencil Luma. As you can see, 
go to composition create a new composition i will name it logo animate click ok then i will go to my project panel and drop down this logo edge into the timeline the logo mat just above the logo edge and also the logo reflection just above the logo mat change the logo mat track mat to luma mat press my keyboard ctrl d to duplicate this logo edge then drag it up above the logo reflection go to effects and preset go to noise and grain fractal noise change the fractal type to dynamic progressive then the contrast change this to 137 brightness negative 8 the blending mode i will change this to multiply go to effects and preset color correction curves i just want to create a contrast on it and that should be good enough go to effects and preset go to color correction try tone then go back to project open this assets open the folder image and drop down this color guide into the timeline this is just a temporary color guide for us guys highlight your logo edge and go to effects control go down and take this color picker and choose this color then i will highlight this logo edge and press my keyboard ctrl d to duplicate it take this color picker and change this color to this color go to effects and preset go to stylize glow i will change the glow threshold to zero the glow radius i want it 118 then i will highlight this one again and press my keyboard ctrl d to duplicate it I'll just close this one because I don't have to change anything in here. Then I will again highlight this logo edge and press my keyboard control D to duplicate it again. I will just close this. Go to effects and preset color correction. I'll just add curves. Drag just above the glow. Drag this RGB down a bit. Lower the resolution so it's faster to render. Highlight all this logo edge here and change the blending mode to add. I will also disable the visibility on the color guide. You now, as you can see, that the logo we have the color is not gold. So, all we have to do is to just drag this logo reflection down, enable the visibility in here, and change this logo matte blending mode to no track matte. Then, change the track matte on the logo reflection to luma matte. As you can see, the logo we have is now golden. For composition, create a new composition and I will name it main. 3840 by 2160, 30 frames per second, 12 seconds duration, click OK. Go to my assets folder and open it up. I will open the image. I will drop down this color guide into the timeline. Move it on the upper left corner of our canvas. Open my footage and drop down this BG movie into the timeline. I will right click my mouse, go to transform, p to comp right click my mouse again and I want it pre-compose. I'll just name it BG. Move all the attributes into the new composition, click OK. I will enable the 3D layer in here, then go back to my project panel and I will drop down these stars into the timeline. Right click my mouse again, go to transform and p to comp Right click my mouse again, I want it pre-compose, I'll just name it stars. Move all the attributes into the new composition, click OK. Toggle switches mode in here and change the blending mode here to add. And go to effects and preset, go to color correction and add tritone. Take this color picker on the midtones and choose this color. Also the highlights, choose this color. Then I will go back to my project panel and drop down this logo animate into the timeline. Toggle switches mode in here. I will enable the collapse transformation switch then i will press my keyboard ctrl d to duplicate it disable the collapse transformation switch in here and highlight this logo animate below go to effects and preset blur and sharpen i will add cc radial blur and i want the type here change to fading zoom make sure that your plate is at the beginning of your timeline and 
make a keyframe by hitting the stopwatch in here on the amount change the value here to 60 then move your playhead to about 7 seconds duration press your keyboard u to see the keyframe and hit this small diamond icon to create a keyframe and move your playhead about 12 seconds duration and make this value 0 then open project panel again i will drop down this particle into the timeline right click my mouse go to transform and i want it to come right click my mouse again and pick composite i will just name it particles move all the attributes into the new composition click ok i want these particles also a 3d layer then i will go back to my project panel and drop down this optical movie into the timeline i will right click my mouse go to transform fit to comb right click my mouse again and pre-compose it i will just name it optical move all the attributes into the new composition click ok i will enable the 3d layer in here then toggle switches mode in here i will change the blending mode to add and this one too i will change this to add go to effects and preset go to color correction try tone take this color picker and just choose this color press t on your keyboard for opacity move back my play here at the beginning of my timeline and make a keyframe here by hitting the stopwatch set the value here to zero then move my play to about 4 seconds duration change this value to 100 percent go to layer create a new adjustment layer drag it down just below the color guide go to effects and preset go to distort and choose this optics compensation i will move my play at the beginning of my timeline and change the value to 97.7 then i will create a keyframe here by hitting this stopwatch on the pillow view then move my playhead to about 3 seconds duration I will change the field of view value to 0 and I will check the reverse lens distortion then go to layer create a new solid I will name it mask click ok then I will go to my shape tool choose this ellipse tool and double click it then I will highlight this mask click this corner and move this on this side this one too, I will move it on this side and the upper, I will move it this way grab your pen tool and add vertex tool then add vertex on your mask then I will just move it like this open the mask change the blending mode here to subtract then increase the mask feather to 1104 now go to layer, create a new camera. I'm using 50mm preset one node camera. Click OK. I will highlight the camera, press P on my keyboard for the position, move the playhead forward the end of my timeline and create a keyframe here by hitting the stopwatch and move my playhead at the beginning of my timeline. I will change this to negative 3909.3. I think that should be good enough and then go back again to layer I will create another new adjustment layer go to effects and preset go to color correction curves change the channel RGB to red drag the red up a bit just a little bit and change it to blue and drag it down duplicate the curves again then reset the curves change the curves to red and drag it up change the red to blue drag it down then again I will go to edit and I will duplicate these curves I will reset it so I will just create here a nice contrast duplicate these curves then I will reset it drag the RGB up a bit to make it lighter I think that should be good enough so now I will just delete this color I'm not using it anymore Then I will just go back to my effects and preset, go to blur and sharpen. I will just add sharpen and I will make the sharpen amount 15. Then I will go back to my project panel, open it up. I will just drop these sound effects into the timeline. Then I will right click my mouse and pre-compose it. Name it as RGSFX. Move all the attributes into the new composition, click OK. So let's preview this.
say so now i'm gonna go to composition and create a new composition i will name it final 3840 by 2160 30 frames per second and 12 seconds duration color is black click ok drop down this main into the timeline let's preview it <laughs> so it's nice eh? so now guys our tutorial is done and i hope that you like it and learn from it for those people who are not yet subscribing my channel smash the button subscribe and like comment or share it to your friends press the notification bell so that you will not miss any videos that i'm gonna be uploading and for those people who subscribe my channel thank you very much and my thoughts for today guys is that when you aspire to become creative, make sure you have the will to do it. Take my advice. There's a quote saying that actions speak louder than words. So constant practice, guys, makes you perfect. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. God bless.